Our Curiosity Summer Camp inspires children to be inventors and builders, and it closes the gap between nature and engineering. We do this through building nature-inspired designs, and all of our designs are built from recycled or easily accessible materials so that they can be replicated anywhere. The flower crank teaches the kids about two types of motion. So when you turn the crank, you have circular motion, and then the pulling of the strings is um, reciprocating or up and down motion. So that's two of the basic concepts that the kids get out of this design. Um, also, it teaches them how a basic crank works and how a crank can be used. Uh, it also make, forces them to be creative with their petals and to think about how a flower closes up and a flower opens up and what, how the petal shapes lend itself to do that. Um, and there's also a lot of variation that you can have with this design. We made uh, with the crank, when you turned it, it would pull strings and a flower would open up. So another design we did during our nature week was a pine cone design. And it teaches kids something they might not have known about pine cones, which is that when pine cones get wet, um, they close up. And that's because they have seeds inside. So if it's damp and it's raining out, um, it's not a good time to plant their seeds. Uh, we actually got to do this. We picked up some pine cones off the ground and we put them in a cup of water and we got to see how they closed up. However, they saw the pine cones, what shapes they saw in their own pine cones. They thought it was circular or maybe more of like a geometric shape. They could make that shape with the cardboard and then um, put sticks or put popsicle sticks or whatever they would like to put inside and make them into levers. During week two, we built some air and wind inspired designs and two of the things we did were a glider to understand how a bird flies and then we built a pneumatic design. So here's our glider design. So one of the key things in this design is getting your glider to balance. So the kids had to figure out how to get this glider to balance so it doesn't crash. And then once they did that, they could use these strings to steer the bird and they could see how pulling too much on one side might also make it crash. And the final thing they learned from this design is the difference between a bird flapping its wings and a bird gliding through the sky, and why a bird would choose to do one or the other. A bird, plastic bag, tape and straws, and rope. So in our pneumatics design, the children got to learn about how air can be used to create motion. So instead of air being an invisible thing that they can't really see, it went to being something really powerful that can actually push things around. Um, they also got to pick a creature that they wanted to make move. I built um, something that pops out the eyes. Push it out of the air. A butterfly, a tube, a stick, and paper and tape. During our third week, which was our facial expression week, our big project was to build a giant mechanical face that can move in a way to show a human facial expression. And they got to learn about the difference between a pivot point and a fixed point and how they can combine all these things to make their face move. So during our fourth and final week of camp, we built a mechanical theater. And what that means is that the kids had to write scripts and they had to animate all of their characters in their script using a simple mechanism. So in order to do this, they had to use all the skills that they learned in weeks one through three. So one of the things they made um, was this crank. Um, this crank built upon what they learned in week one from their flower cranks. And again, when you turn the crank, you'll see that this straw goes back and forth. So if they had a character or a body part of their character that needs to move back and forth, they could animate it using a crank. I made an eagle, and I made my eagle flap its wings. Another thing that the children also built is a cam. So how this works is when I turn it, this part's called the follower. The follower moves up and down. And depending on how many followers you put in the cam or what the shape of the lobe is down here, you can accomplish all types of different things. So this was just another thing for the kids to think about as they animated their characters. I use uh, straws, cardboard, sticks, paper, It goes up and down, but it didn't work, so that's okay. <laughs>